Well, so hello, I'm Duncan Miller, and I'm a member of the Alzheimer's Association Early Onset Group in Mountain View, California. Uh, before I retired, I was an IT business analyst uh, in financial service companies. About two years ago, I felt something was wrong, and I, and I was diagnosed with early onset dementia. Uh, uh, tonight, with uh, I have Dr. Uh, Elizabeth Early uh, on on California's. Whew, here, let me get started here. Dr. Elizabeth Early's Northern California. Alzheimer's Association. My talk is um, let's see. My talk is about living with Alzheimer's, and uh, the first six months are the hardest. Right. In the next few minutes, I hope to uh, give you a sense of the changes that have made my diagnosis. I have also I have a suggestion uh, for a project that might uh, make a difference for someone like me. All right, see ya. So, yeah, we got the right. Did that go too far? Yeah, I think we looked over. That's why. Okay, go ahead. I'll show you the family later. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so I'm doing. So I'm doing an inter introduction for three of my friends uh, that are on the same path that I am. Uh, last Valentine's Day, we had we created a thank you uh, for our caregivers. Here's Jeff, Kathleen, and uh, Chuck. <music> Hi, my name is Jeff. My wife is amazing. She makes sure I'm taking my meds. Without her, I would be nowhere. I'm grateful that I have my wife, kids, and that support me. The whole thing is I'm lucky because I have been coming here for a long time with this group. I think I was the first one. So it, it, it's, it's really been my home for that. And I appreciate that for Ken every time he makes him every day, even when I don't want to go because <laughs> I'm tired or something. So he always tries to get me to go. And, so he's a wonderful husband for me, and love him very much, and um, he's a good guy. I'm supposed to thank you for the, for the uh, help you, you've given me, and uh, for the help you're going to give me. Uh, it's going to be rough, but uh, I think you can handle it, and I'll appreciate it. Uh, we are doing the best we can with what we have. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll be interested in what, you, what products you have and anything that will make our life better. So living with early, yeah, living with early onset. My first year uh, of living with early onset uh, evolved, excuse me, evolved dealing with a great number of people who had uh, to, their, that were to define my world. Uh, doctors, lawyers, financial uh, folks, and the government defined uh, my new world. Um, before my diagnosis, I was assumed to be uh, a competent adult. After my diagnosis, I was assumed to be a patient with a caregiver, um, except for the government, who I had to hire a lawyer to demonstrate. Right? My family and friends uh, automatically adjusted themselves uh, their, through the, with, with their relationship with me, and sometimes I have trouble um, with words and I talk less. Uh, the result is that uh, some of my old friends drift away and I drift away from some of them. Others think that uh, I might be faking it. They uh, have been, uh, been diagnosed with Alzheimer's means that you, um, you, retake, you have to retake your driving less driving test um, before give up driving. Most of all, my, uh, my ch yeah, most of all, uh, my caretaker um, gets a brand new job on top of all the existing responsibilities she has. It feels like I'm stuck in a glass compound. Uh, I can see the world around me, but there are uh, no oh, get out of jail cards available. 
Uh, I, so I do not belong in my old culture anymore. Um, over, yeah. Yeah. Over time, I am uh, learning the difference between the culture so I can become more comfortable in my new limited environment. It's not all bad. You can have, you can have some things. Um, now is the time to, to get in and get in better shape, uh, better than you were in high school. <laughs> right. I changed my diet and uh, I went from about 230, yeah, 230 pounds down to 183. The crazy stuff uh, passes. I am slowly building up a, a new set of friends uh, for my social com community and I am keeping uh, my old friends as much as I can. Oh, click. <laughs> All right. So, uh, background experience. I volunteered for this project because uh, I felt I had a unique uh, view of the process. About four years ago, my family went through some difficult times. My mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's dementia. My dad came, got sick, and my brother passed on. My younger brother passed on. Uh, my sister and I became uh, responsible for my mom, my dad, and my brother. Uh, we, we started from, the cold, from a cold start and made the, everything happen. It's, uh, everything's stable now. What happened was um, we quickly saw, things happen quickly, and what happens is we saw all the little pieces fit into the big picture. It was quite an education. Uh, I never would have thought that I would have been in a dementia situation. Um, so click, right? So um, managing your money. You can, you can spend a lot of money uh, when you're uh, worried when you're worried. So ask questions uh, about the benefits and the costs uh, uh, of recommendations. Understand what you're purchasing and how much is being paid. Uh, you will be offered uh, ranges of products that, uh, and services. It's easy to overbuy uh, when you're not sure what you want. It is very easy to overbuy when the insurance company is paying the bills. <laughs> yeah, you can uh, plan ahead. Don't use, don't be surprised um, when you see the bill. All right. Now is the time to think about uh, the future. It's possible that someone like me will live another 20 to 30 years. Uh, the financial decisions you make today will affect uh, your family for the rest of your life. Um, the first six months are the hardest. Um, it, this is the time you know. The, this is the time you know the least and need to know the most. Um, the whole effort feels like a series of one-off events. You are the, um, passing from one specialist to another. Uh, each expert has uh, their own, yeah, each, pex, each expert has their part, uh, does their part correctly, explains their uh, specialties, and then passes you on to the next expert. The only thing that they have in common is me, and I'm the only amateur. <laughs> during, during the first six months, I made uh, some big, uh, decisions, uh, medical, 401k, um, what to do about the kids' college fund. Um, I decided possibly moving uh, and uh, looked at the family uh, family books. Let's see. About, about six months out, I realized that I made all the decisions um, and I would have to make live with them for the rest of my life. When, when it was all done, I realized that I had never put together a game plan and I decided to reverse engineer the process. There seemed to, there seemed to be a pattern. There are many, there are many details and subdetails, but everything seemed to follow into three piece, three parts. Uh, the pink part, you you decided that something was wrong, and you um, your doctor agreed with you, and you re, um, you refer, were referred to a neurologist. In the blue section, uh, the neurologist runs tests, orders tests, and gives you a diagnosis. You may get your, you may get a second opinion. 
Uh, your neurologist notifies you the state if you uh, shouldn't have, shouldn't drive. And once, and once uh, diagnosed, I kind of felt like I was all on my own. Um, in the green section, you can see, you, you can get some help from groups like the Alzheimer's Association or hire an expert for a specialty, uh, something that's a specialty issue. What's missing is a single view, or it's a single source of information that covers everything. This is where someone in, this pro in, the, someone in the, the project could make a big difference in our lives. Um, the best surprise is no surprise, right? The, what we need is um, a missing, the missing manual. Put all the information together and organize it as seen through the eyes of the diagnosed uh, person and their families. It would come up, it would help us see what's coming up and we could make better decisions. That's it. You can do it. <laughs> Hi, Duncan. Sure. Thank you. Um, you could introduce yourself briefly. So. Yes, and I'm Todd. Todd okay. Mangini. Um, when you say that what would be helpful is to have, are you saying that it would be helpful to have like a template when one is diagnosed of all these different categories that seem so separate? Uh, well, yeah. So it's actually kind of the yeah. It's it's kind of, it's kind of the reverse. So it, essentially, it's a manual. At least the way I'm thinking of it. So uh, the way this whole thing came across for me was we were sitting in our group having discussions about, you know, what do you do about your driver's license? What do you do about this? What do you do about that? And it occurred to me that there was a, a process flow, right? Nobody ever tells you that when you're in the medical side of it. They, they're experts. They do what they're supposed to do, and they pass you on to the next guy. Well, you can make good decisions or bad decisions, or, or you can make decisions with with no reference to, to whether there's any good or bad it, to it. It's, it's just because you're, uh, you're at the top looking down, but if you're at the bottom looking up, which is where I was, right, I was looking up, I was trying to say, well, this stuff all, it all started when I got, uh, you know, when I got tagged for this thing, right? Everything came down as a Christmas tree, right? There was, I, I think we had something like 14, 14 or 15 different things that happened. Part of it is just uh, uh, getting, organizing things with your wife. That's a big deal, right? If you get that part right, then a whole bunch of things work. If, if you don't get that part right, you got a problem. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, and then you could just walk down through these things. You know, maybe you need a lawyer for that kind of thing. So if you had, so, the, so when we were talking about this, the, the idea was that, oh, we would start from the user's view and then look out and say, what's there? What, what intrigued me was that California is a big place. All the rules are the same, right? You could put up a website with this, and uh, when somebody called up and would call Alzheimer's, right, and said, my God, what do I do now, right, because that's a regular call they get, right? You could say, go to this site. You know, it's, it's you and all the things you need to do now, all the things that you're going to figure out later. You only have to worry about these things one at a time, right? So if it was in, in, that, in that matter, it would uh, be useful. Mm -hmm. So that, anyhow. So I've worked it through, and so I'm happy. No, <laughs> but but I, think, I think there's some, there's an opportunity there for some folks, you know, to go through. And once you have that framework, right, it could go across the country very easily. I mean, every state is different. That's a big deal, and it's a pain in the well, anyhow. So, but it, but you do have the framework, right? And once you have that framework, you, you just plug these things in, um, and uh, and that's as far as I got. Just, a, just the whole country. <laughs> right. Fantastic. Sure. Anybody else have maybe one more question? Sure. Thank you for your insights. Were you working when you um, were diagnosed? Uh, no, actually, I decided that uh, my previous employer was not treating me right. And um, when you're in the business I was in, when people ask you, do you know anybody that's sort of like your has your skill set? What they're really saying is, we got an opening, <laughs> right? So being as uh, cocky as I was at the time, and I'm not now, 
um, I said, oops, I said, I quit, right? And uh, when you, I quit, you, you just lose all kinds of stuff. But uh, anyhow, I, I did quit. And then I started to lose that weight I was talking about. And when I was driving, um, I realized that I wasn't, because uh, I go out to hike and drive and hike, that I couldn't uh, get myself into the flow of traffic. And so from that, I pushed, uh, pushed pretty hard uh, to my doc to see you know, what's going on. And he had an interesting observation. Um, so I was explaining all the problems I was having. He says, I have people, I have stress, you've got stress. He says, I have folks here that are 25 years old. They walk into another room and they can't remember why they're there. You, you've got stress? And so I pushed him anyhow, right? And sure enough, I got diagnosed. And um, so, so anyhow, that was sort of, the, that's how it happened. Uh, I think it was, uh, that's just the way it was. Sure. Take one more? Sure. You are up for it? <laughs> oh, sure. Thank you so much. Uh, appreciate it very much. And it relates very much to what Rita said, that we now step in your shoes. And I very much appreciate to uh, share the thoughts with us. Thank you so much. Many startups think that technology is making life more easy for elder people or maybe patients. Um, can you share with us any thoughts on how technology or the iPad, for example, uh, improves your life, or do you? S well, I can say a lot about Skype. Right? Oh, well, but yeah, well, that's, anything that's, is interesting. Thank you. Yeah, that, so when I say Skype, it, it's that ability to talk to your folks. So my folks are kind of old school; they're, they're still around, uh, and um, they're in Ohio, so it's uh, two and a half hours away by airplane. So my sister was carrying the full load uh, of looking after the folks. And, uh, but what we found is, is that if we could use Skype or equivalent, you know, that kind of thing, um, that you got a connection, you know, that you could, you could just see them light up. And uh, that was really great. So I think there's some opportunities like that in particularly uh, that, that environment. Um, another thing that we talked about, there was a, a couple of ideas that came through. One, one was, um, uh, maybe we could have an Alzheimer's group uh, online, right? So that way you could have it different hours, or you could have the same moderator go after the both both sets of people, and that way you'd have one moderator that would know all the caretakers and know all the patients, and so that might be more efficient. Um, so there's a, a lot of things that you could do like that. I think that sort of uh, if you sort of scratch around and look, I mean it's. it's it's not an easy, we're not an easy group to, to uh, bring into a room, you know, and put some stuff on the screen and say, you know, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? Um, but, uh, you know, with, with some thought, I think you could do something. Sure. Hi, uh, my name is Bill McLeod. I'd just like to follow up on, on his question. Um, when he was asking about the iPad, um, I just uh, spent two years taking care of my parents, and um, I think Skype is, is amazing. My daughter lives in Argentina, and it was so wonderful that she could be part of our life the past couple of years. But, um, so I'm a huge believer in that. But uh, as he was asking about the iPad, and I'm curious what kind of um, technology, I assume you've used technology for many years yourself. Um, are you still using your computer actively? Do you find yourself using a tablet? Is that a lot easier? Oh, so my, so um, we're on a budget. <laughs> and it's not that we're on a budget, but my wife has put me on a budget, no more toys. <laughs> so I, I, I have a PC. And uh, so, but my son is, you know, on Skype all the time. And my, my, uh, my sister, that was her opening to the world, because she's another PC person, another computer, uh, a professional pr computer person for mainframe type things. And this was the first time she, she saw the, the box work. And then she brought it in to, the, to show the folks. And then they got all excited. So, I mean, there's a way to have good connections there, I think. And uh, we just sent a bunch of my dad's, got a 96th birthday coming up, and we found some old pictures in the garage that we made uh, pictures of and sent them over. And that's been more work than I thought it was. Uh, but I, I know it's going to get a kick out of it. 
But you haven't played at all with ta a tablet like an iPad or? No, it, I, we really haven't. I, I know people do it, love it, and it's real successful. It just it, you know, I've, you know, I, I type on a desk. <laughs> right. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Really. Sure.